So, all of our power is plugged in for our graphics cards. We are going to, we'll definitely plug in the headers before we put the, uh, the power supply cover back on. Because that'll, that'll definitely also make it harder once we do that. Okay, that's uh, one way to angle the tripod. Can you guys see? Let's bring another lamp over here. Because I'm not crowded enough right now. Man, I probably should have done that a while ago, huh? Alright, yeah, how, how does that look? That looks probably a bit easier to see for you guys, isn't it? Uh, so right now what we need to do is plug in these tiny little things on the motherboard. Those are the headers and things. Um, so that's going to be like our power button. Uh, power lights, hard drive access lights, things like that. Actually, I don't know if our hard drive access light... No, we should still... Yeah, it should plug in even though we're using an M.2. We just won't see it very much, that's all. But it should still work. Um, okay, and I'm trying to think. After that, looking around, do we have anything I haven't unboxed yet? Got so much stuff strewn around this whole room. I think this is the last thing we have to do before we plug this thing in and try it. <sighs> All right, so, uh, headers. Headers are going to come from the other side of this, because they're mostly going to plug into our case. So now that I've boxed myself in with lights and cameras, we're just going to, man, this thing does look so nice. I'm gonna turn this around and I'm gonna start feeding headers through, I guess. Uh, HDD LED power switch, okay. Got stuff Velcroed in in the back here. This is this is a nice setup back here. I know you can't see it, but on the other side of this case, uh, if I turn it all around, you saw it earlier with all of the, the cables. I'm gonna start passing them through here and you'll see it, actually. I think we can use these. Oh, well now there's reflection from the glass, of course. Uh, but we're gonna open the glass up again anyway. This is our, okay, okay, this is a ridiculously crowded setup, isn't it? Ridiculously crowded setup. Uh, okay, this would, this would not be an issue if I had an office, just saying. So we're going to pass through some headers and start plugging them in, because that's all, that's all there is left to do at this point. So looking at our motherboard, we've got audio is over on the left. Looks like we got USB 3.0 on the right. I'm going to grab our manual because there's a page with this stuff written in it. All right, so number 26, power LED and speaker header. Power switch is number 19. Number 19, son of a gun. All right. Yep, we have to take this graphics card back out, the bottom one. So let me just do that. At least we've got the, the cables ran and everything now, so we can just plug it right back in when we're ready. But the place where we need to plug the power button in is actually behind this card, so. I, I said it earlier, I said I would need to plug stuff in before we put this card in, and then I was so excited that it was easy to get the card out of my box that, uh, that I forgot I needed to do other things. If I can get this thing out of here, there's going to be an ordeal in itself, because there's a latch back here we have to release. Alright, got that card out. We'll set it on top of our computer. Oh, found some more plastic I haven't taken off of uh, that old card, and... There's also plastic on the new card right there. Right there over that Republic of Gamers logo. So uh, at least at least we gained that from the whole experience. Well, that's a power button, but that's not that's not where we plug in our power button. Onboard headers and connectors. All right, so our system panel header. Okay, so I found the spot in our manual. System panel header corresponds to a bunch of other stuff. That, that's what I actually needed. So I'm gonna start passing stuff through here. Ah, it's actually written on the motherboard. That's that's helpful. So this stuff needs to go through all the way to the left. Is this all the way to the left? Looking at our diagram in the manual again. Hard drive light plus is at the bottom left. Hard drive LED plus goes to the bottom left. Last thing is our power light, which I would like to have working for sure. This stuff I think is gonna go through over here audio and stuff. Um, we've got some things awfully twisted around back here. I'm gonna pull these back through so we can we can do that a bit better. Now that I'm actually looking at this back here, I'm well aware that the video is not watchable at this point. Um, sorry, but it always gets to a point where I need to stop talking to the camera in order to focus on doing the stuff. All right, well, we're gonna plug in our audio over here at least. Front panel audio, that is. 
right? And this this thing's probably gonna light up like a Christmas tree anyway. It's not like I really need to um, plug in the power light, but I want to do this build right. That was the whole point of this video, is doing it right. So, so that's gonna go right there. That's for our USB 2.0 on the front of the case. Let me check the case's manual and actually make sure that there is a power light. There might not be a power light on this case. That's always a possibility. Well, according to this manual, there's no reset button, but we plugged in something to the reset button. But yeah, if, the, if there's no hard drive light, then of course we don't have to plug in the hard drive light. Um, power button, hard drive, LED. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we've got a power light. How do I get on the other side of my camera from here? All right, I, I think we're good with plugging, plugging that stuff in actually. There's just a, a hard drive light, but I guess they just assume, like I said, the thing will light up for sure uh, when it's turned on. The, the graphics cards light up, the water cooler lights up, um, there will be hard drive activity. You'll hear the 11 fans spinning, so that's fine. The only reason that's a bummer is because it means I didn't actually have to take the graphics card back out, but it probably made that a bit easier anyway. Let's put through our USB 3.0 header. You can tell this is for USB 3.0 because the connection is blue, or the connector is blue. Okay, and this just has to flip around and plug in right there. Okay, we have USB 3.0, which my old case, uh, the USB 3.0 was never connected because my motherboard didn't support it. Because I didn't know uh, how to pick out a good motherboard six years ago, but I sure do now. Okay, that's everything that needs to be connected from the case, so we're going to put that graphics card back in. Uh, there's no SATA stuff we have to install right now. Actually, I am going to plug in a SATA just to make it easier for me when I do get that optical drive in. I'm just going to run a SATA cable. Oh, I forgot about these things. For our liquid cooler way up here, um, the liquid cooler actually came with some free stuff. These are 90 degree turners for the liquid cooler. If I can get that in the camera shot, there we go. So uh, you stick the hoses into here and it gives you a nice 90 degree angle without pinching or uh, creasing the cord at all, or the, the tube. So we'll actually apply one of those right here, since we've got them. Just stick both of the tubes into here, since we do have a 90 degree angle going on. And that was, uh, the accessory was made by EVGA as well, I believe. Newegg just threw it in my cart for free um, as a, a bonus with purchasing that. I guess lots of people use them or find them helpful. Yeah, it's not like we super needed it, but um, we've got one, so I put it on there. All right, we've actually got two, but it's not like we're doing 180 degrees here. But I think it at least looks nice having uh, having the one on there. Okay, so I'm gonna put the graphics card back in now. Oh, SATA cable. I'm forgetting things that I said two seconds ago. So if I find our motherboard box in this mess, this is a SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second cable, which is probably faster than my optical drive anyway. So that's cool. We've got more of them, but the motherboard came with SATA cables, which I was hoping it would, because I know I've got others laying around, but I don't know where they are right now. Uh, they're one of the many, many, many things that were misplaced and have not yet been found from the big Nerd of the Street Kaufman family move from uh, two years ago now. Which one of these is SATA 1? Let's consult our manual. Maybe I should run more of these. Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna put a few in. Just cause, like I said, eventually I might put hard drives in here. Uh, just so I don't have to rerun, you know, take the graphics cards out again and everything. So these are right angle connections they give us. This is the dumbest camera angle. All right, that's what it was. It wasn't my fault, it was the tripod screwing up. We're gonna plug all four of the uh, included SATA cables in. Like I said, just for ease of, of future usage here and of course that's gonna make a big cabling mess but it doesn't show here because it's in the back so hopefully you guys won't be too upset about that won't go rushing for your dislike buttons that you always seem to love using on my build videos although I can understand why this is getting a little bit a little bit much even for me okay all right man I was hitting the mic that's it we're, we're putting the card in card is going in Okay, we are definitely going to stop the camera and do a full reset here uh, before we get into the software side of this video, for sure. It's only 8 o'clock. I started at like 4 or 5, but it's a Saturday, so I can, I, I can go all night here. Alright, so there's that. I'm going to 
plug in the power over here once again. Okay, got two graphics cards plugged in. Now I can't put the power supply cover back on quite yet because we need to plug in some power stuff for the case, I think. Let's check out in our case manual what we got to do there. Page 11. It's power supply, 12 volt SATA input. That's all we need is one 12 volt SATA input to the power supply for the case. I'm going to run one other 12 volt SATA input for the optical drive because I'm going to be adding that like within the next couple weeks, but I won't bother running any other SATA stuff right now because if I ever get a hard drive, I can just plug in the other cables at that point. Actually, it looks like I get more than one connection per cable here anyway. All right, so these are the cables I'm talking about. You can see there's one, two, three, four SATA connectors, um, and then the other end plugs into your uh, power supply as a type four, which is the same type as the PCI and CPU power. So like I said, I'm gonna plug in two of these right now, one to run back to the case and one to run to the front for the drives. And really it doesn't matter what the bottom of this looks like because this is the part that's getting covered up by the, uh, the fancy PSU cover. Okay, guys, and there that is through. Everything else that needs to happen right now is uh, on the other side of this case. So I am going to put this back on and we'll flip the case around and finish this up here. Okay, so if I turn this down just a little bit, you can see me sliding this this cover on that we added so long ago, or we took off so long ago. Okay, good. Just as I thought, it's perfectly fine that we've got uh, front panel headers and stuff coming that's happening above uh, the, the cover right there. So that's all good. I want this to kind of go to the side. It's not really gonna do that, so that's fine. I'm gonna close this door. Looking very nice, very nice. I'm trying to figure out if we're actually going to need to get in here again. Um, I don't think we actually will. I think we're done with this side of the case. Because um, it looks perfectly fine. No more cable management we're going to have to do or anything, really. And what's this thing coming through? Two motherboard CPU fan. Goes up here. Alright, that's been plugged in, whatever it is. I think it might be the case. I don't think it's our cooler. And everything else is looking perfectly acceptable. Way cleaner, guys, this is so much uh, nicer done than any of my previous builds have been, at least. So I know it's not like perfect, but way tidier management of our cables than, than I usually do. So at this point, we're over here just screwing on uh, this side panel so that we can stop having that swing around. The tempered glass really does look nice. This entire thing looks great. Um, if I turn off the lamps for a second so you can kind of see in there, now you don't have any light, but yeah, you can you can kind of see, oh, that's a good one, all right. Yeah, you can really see the graphics cards, that cooler, it looks amazing, absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna turn this case around now. Flipping the whole thing, and this is, okay, I thought this was a heavy case before I put all the stuff in it. Um, actually a little concerned for my desk now. Now that all the stuff is in it. Okay, yeah, that is that is one heavy freaking computer. Huh, that's gonna be a problem transporting for events and whatnot, like Extra Life that I bring all my equipment to. Uh, that will be a problem, but we will deal with that when we get there. So here's what the back of this thing is looking like right now. Uh, down here is where I was passing those cables through earlier and you know moving them around, passing them back through elsewhere. So this connects, this connector with Fantex is multicolor LED strips only. Uh, this is the thing that needs to connect to 12 volt input, which is a SATA connector from our power supply. So if we grab one of those from the bottom here, we will connect that up right there. So this is our case's power for its lights and USB and whatnot. Um, and at this point we need to get this cover closed is the next thing that needs to happen. So to do that, um, anything in the bottom here we can shove back through because like I said that's just going back into um, Into the covered up area that we don't see from the window, but anything we can't put into that bottom part we do need to fit um, in the SATA bays over here or just Leave on this this side of the computer. Yeah, we'll put SATA connectors as far into the SATA bays as we can since that's what they're for anyway. We'll put them in the bottom where there's not a fan though, so they don't 
create problems with airflow. Same with all the SATA cables, data cables that we pass through. We'll just stick those into our SATA bays over here. I can pull them out and use them as I need them. Like I said, the fan for the front is up here, so we're not obstructing that at all right now. This is just going in the spot where there's not really any airflow happening anyway. Okay, what's this here? 12 volt input, okay. So it looks like our case actually wants more than one 12 volt input, which is perfectly fine since we've got so many of them, like I said. We'll plug that in here as well. There's some adhesive or something on that, that plug. I know this looks like a mess. We'll, we'll, we'll utilize some of our Velcro ties here, I guess. Here we can, yeah, we can tie that down. Here we go, now we're looking great. Looks like we can actually include some more of this stuff here under this Velcro tie. Well, as clean as it can look, I think we are approaching our, our limit to how much we can clean up here. Um, so at this point, I am going to try and put the side of this case back on. And this is the point where if it doesn't fit, we're gonna have to flatten these cables out some more until it does. That's really the only way to go about this once we're this far into it. This is still better than it would have been if we had like a non-modular power supply uh, with all kinds of cables that we're not using. I know we put some extras through ourselves, and that's kind of why it looks so like so many cables here, but okay. This should be close to, to good. So you can see there's all kinds of cable ties and Velcro straps we're not using like up here. Um, so we could go even further with it. But honestly, I think, like I said, I think we're approaching uh, how good we can get, really. So where is the other side? Here we go. Here's the other side panel. See how easily this goes on. If, if this does not go on easily, then we're going to be here for a little bit while I attempt to do this. Already getting all kinds of dust on this computer just from, just from sitting in my room. That's what happens when you do everything in your bedroom. Natural dust happens. Yeah, that's bulging in the middle, which I don't want. It's because of this power stuff here. Let's, let's loop this around this side of the case a bit. And this is the part, like, I don't normally do this stuff, but that's why apparently my builds are normally not very put together, because I don't do this stuff. So let's spend the time to do it. Um, let's spend the time and make this look nice instead of just jamming that, that case. How about, how about that? That looks pretty good. I know we're a little inconsistent with how I'm using the Velcro ties. Um, so now this can come... Yeah, these are still tangled up. I tried to fix that when we still had everything open. But didn't do a good enough job, it looks like. All right, so this, this was already doable before. The case was already closable. Uh, but maybe since I cleaned up just a little bit here, that'll make it not feel quite so, so rough putting it in trying to get these to not all overlap on top of each other in the same spots. Okay, I think we're in better shape now than we were before. Okay, that's, it's still pushing out, there's still pressure, but it's not nearly as big of a bulge. Um, it's just normal, normal pressure at this point. So that's great. Uh, we will screw the side of this case back on with the thumb screws. They've actually got more thumb screws than uh, I need, so I'm curious if we'll figure out where those came from or if they're extras or something. Fairly certain that we did screw all the graphics cards in all the way. Well, we'll figure that out when we flip this back around if we need to. Put the front back on now. Okay, man, that took a long time, took a lot of work, and at this point, I am going to pause the camera, I'm going to stop the audio recording, and I'm going to clean up my room a bit, um, and then I'm going to rearrange my desk. Uh, right now, the way that my desk is set up, this computer would have to go on the left side so I wouldn't be able to see through the window, which it looks great through that window. So I'm actually going to flip uh, my, my setup around put my second monitor on the left side, I think. Yeah, and I'll have the computer on the right side so that I can see through that window. I might have to move my desk a little bit. I'm also, I've got so much like boxes and stuff. You guys can't even see how much packaging there is everywhere in this room right now. I'm actually gonna grab my phone and take a few pictures just so you can see how bad it is. And some of it is from my, my room before, but like most of this was from just now during this video. 
So yeah, I'm gonna pause the camera, gonna reset everything. When we're ready to actually plug this computer in and try it, I'll let you guys know.